Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Teens and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss factoring polynomials. It is the process of breaking a polynomial into a product of two or more polynomials. Next topic is difference of two cubes. In the difference of two cubes, we have the formula a cube minus b cube is equal to the quantity of a minus b times the quantity of a squared plus ab plus b squared. Let's have now example number one. Factor x cubed minus 27 completely. So it is the same as uh, the process in finding the factors of sum of two cubes. So we're going to write x cubed minus 27 in the form of a cubed minus b cubed. So we have x cubed minus 3 cubed. So 27 is equal to 3 cubed. Next is we're going to determine the value of a and b. So the value of a is x and the value of b is 3. After finding the value of a and b, we're going to determine the value of a minus b and the value of a squared plus ab plus b squared. So we have x cubed minus 27 is equal to x minus 3. This is the value of a minus b. And the value for a squared is x squared plus ab is x times 3 plus b squared is 3 squared. Next is we're going to simplify now this factor. So we have the quantity of x minus 3 times the quantity of x squared plus x times 3 is 3x and the square of 3 is 9. So we have x cubed minus 27 is equal to the quantity of x minus 3 times the quantity of x squared plus 3x plus 9. Example number 2, factor 8x cubed minus 125 completely. So first is we're going to write the given polynomial in the form of a cubed minus b cubed. So we have the quantity of 2x cubed is the value of 8x cubed. And then minus 5 cubed, 125 is equal to 5 cubed. Next is, we're going to determine the value of a and b. So, a is equal to 2x and b is equal to 5. Next is, we're going to determine the value of the quantity of a minus b and a squared plus ab plus b squared. So, we have 8x cubed minus 125 is equal to 2x minus 5. So, this is the value of a minus b. The value of a is 2x minus the value of b is 5. That's why we have 2x minus 5. Next is a squared. So, a squared is equal to the quantity of 2x squared plus ab is equal to 2x times 5 plus b squared is equal to 5 squared. Next step is we're going to simplify this factor so, we have the quantity of 2x minus 5 times the quantity of, so the square of 2x is 4x squared plus 2x times 5 is equal to 10x and the square of 5 is 25. So, therefore, 8x cubed minus 125 is equal to the quantity of 2x minus 5 times the quantity of 4x squared plus 10x plus 25. For example, number 3, factor x cubed minus 729 completely. So we have x cubed minus 729. We're going to write the given polynomial in the form of a cubed minus b cubed. So we have x cubed minus 9 cubed. 729 is equal to 9 cubed. Next is we're going to determine the value of a and b. The value of a is x and the value of b is 9. After finding the value of a and b, we're going to determine the value of a minus b 
and a squared plus ab plus b squared. So we have x cubed minus 729 is equal to x minus 9, that is the value of a minus b. And then for a squared is x squared plus ab is x times 9 plus b squared is 9 squared. Next is we're going to simplify this factor. So we have x minus 9 or the quantity of x minus 9 times the quantity of x squared plus x times 9 is 9x plus 9 squared is equal to 81. So therefore, x cubed minus 720 is equal to the quantity of x minus 9 times the quantity of x squared plus 9x plus 81. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.